Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today I want to share with you a lunch favorite from my childhood and what makes it such an American classic, so irresistible, and what cheese you want to use to get that gooey factor that we all crave. Get ready for my ultimate three cheese grilled cheese sandwich. Let's go. It's not gonna happen. It is not gonna happen with the processed cheese food. The processed cheese, the thing about it is that it has that amazing ability to melt. I mean, literally, if I breathe on it, it'll probably melt. But what I wanna show you is how do we make a great grilled cheese sandwich and have that melting factor, but using real cheese. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanna give you some options and the idea is three different styles of cheese depending on where you live you can you know find options for this so i think this makes the best grilled cheese sandwich so part one is going to be a medium style cheddar cheddar is going to bring me depth this particular cheddar i is a bit smoked so it's going to add a smoky quality so what i want to do here is get flavor and meltability those are the two factors i'm looking when i pick my cheeses Cheddar, number one, any kind of cheddar you want. Number two is this Gouda style cheese. This is a Dutch cheese that's been around forever. This one happens to be aged and it's called Beamster. Man, is it good. It's got like, it's almost like eating candy. It's got these caramel notes, really amazing and this amazing color, but you can use Gouda or any kind of cheese that fits that bill. Third, and I think really, really important, I'm going a little Swiss here. And this is a Gruyere cheese. Gruyere cheese, any kind of Swiss style cheese like this, is gonna have that heavy meltability factor. This is what the Swiss make fondues out of, right? It's just like basically melted cheese. So any kind of a Swiss cheese, this one is gonna add like a real earthy note, some nuttiness. And again, without getting super like, oh, cause this is a grilled cheese. I just wanna give you the characteristics of these particular cheeses and then you can mix and match as you like. Here's what I do. I shred all the cheese and I blend it together. Mmm, I can smell the smokiness of this cheddar from here. So this is cheese number one. Let's go for some Beamster now. The first time I tasted this Beamster, I was actually blown away because it's so sweet. Caramel is really the only way that I can describe it. It's got a little bit of tang on the end, but the longer it's aged, the sweeter it is. And the color is really kind of nice too. Oh, I can just imagine this grilled cheese sandwich all ready. So I got my three cheeses and now it's time to talk bread and butter. So by mixing the three cheeses together like this, I'm gonna ensure that I have the same mouthful each bite of my sandwich. That's the purpose of this. So what was my whole little ordeal with the processed cheese food? I think using real cheese makes all the sense in the world. When you look at the ingredient list of that processed cheese food, I mean, you can't even call it real cheese. It says style on the package. There's like 27 ingredients. Cheese is, you know, milk, a couple of cultures, generally two, three, maybe four ingredients. So now we get to make the grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna break a rule of mine, cardinal rule. We are gonna go with a soft, fluffy bread. This, however, is a step above. This is a challah bread or an egg bread. So there's lots of eggs in here. There's a little bit of sweetness, not too much, and that makes it nice and fluffy. Let's talk anatomy of the grilled cheese. Butter, bread, three cheeses. Butter is softened so that I can put it on the outside of my piece of bread. I like to butter the outside just like that. This is a perfect recipe actually for a kid to learn when they're young. That's what I did when I was, I think seven is the first time I made, could be six. I was pretty reckless, I have to say. I would just kind of barge into the kitchen, pull up a chair, stand on it, turn on the stove, <laughs> start making stuff. This was one of those things that I made, the grilled cheese. All right, a good amount of butter on both sides. Now, 
the temperature is key because you want to have it just enough so that it, the cheese melts inside, but it doesn't get too crispy while that happens. So I'm going to go to a medium heat. I'm going to put my butter side down, obviously, and cheese is going in. Now my top goes on. What makes this such an American classic? I mean, anybody to whom you mention grilled cheese sandwich right away conjures up some images. And that's what I think a classic is of childhood, of going to the diner, of coming home from school. And it's still happening today. So there are a few recipes that kind of go back way in time and then last forever. I think the grilled cheese is going to be eternal. It'll be here after we're gone. The other downside of shredding the cheese is it's more difficult to flip. But you know what? You always have to weigh things out in the kitchen. Why am I doing this? Because I want that ooey gooey texture inside and I want to get like a lot of cheese in there. So, you know, you can certainly slice it. That's all good too. I just want to peek inside to show you at what point it's time to flip it. So just starting to melt. So that'll be just enough for me to flip it over. Are we ready? Oh yeah. So this guy's perfect. I'm thinking it's probably four minutes aside to get the perfect crisp and then the perfect meltability. Okay, this baby is done. I promise you that ooey gooey factor. Look at that, right? This is why I wanted to do good quality cheese. <laughs> now I get to taste. You notice I went for the triangles. This was another conversation my brother and I had. Is it triangles or is it squares? What do you like? Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> that is a cheesy grilled cheese. Nick, look at this. That's my brother, okay? I think you're gonna absolutely love this. Just the right amount of crisp on the outside, super low temperature was key. Those three cheeses together make the best combination. Thank you for joining me on a ooey gooey helping of my favorite foods. Please subscribe, share your grilled cheese antics with me. What's the anatomy of your grilled cheese look like?